Hello everybody, welcome to the weekly roundup brought to you by comicbook.com. I'm Brandon Davis and recently I have been burdened with two glorious purposes. The first is to grow a beard in honor of No Shave November and the other is to bring you the five biggest stories you may have missed this week, which is pretty possible if you're anything like me and you've been playing the new Call of Duty all week long. <laughs> On July 10th, 2015, the little yellow guys you know from Despicable Me will be getting their own self-titled feature film, Minions. The film will follow the Minions, mainly Kevin Stewart and Bob, from prehistoric times searching for a villainous leader to serve, starting with the T-Rex, leading them to New York in the 1960s where they will have to fight against the annihilation of all Minion kind. The animated trailer was released this week and you can find it right here on comicbook.com. Another trailer released from Universal this week featured the late Paul Walker and the voice of Groot himself, Vin Diesel. The explosive action-packed trailer sets up the seventh installment of the Fast and Furious franchise this time around, adding lots of new faces like Jason Statham, Jaiman Hansu, Tony Jaa, Ronda Rousey, and Kurt Russell. Furious 7 hits theaters April 3rd, 2015. The 2015 People's Choice Awards nominees have been revealed and they include more than a handful of nominations from the superhero community. Among the nominees for favorite movie actress, Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Lawrence, and Zoe Saldana for their roles as Black Widow, Mystique, and Gamora, respectively. In their favorite movie actor category, you'll find Wolverine himself, Hugh Jackman, and although he hasn't played Iron Man this year, it's worth noting that Robert Downey Jr. is nominated as well. Comics dominated several categories, but they own three out of the five nominations for the favorite movie category as Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, my personal favorite, and X-Men Days of Future Past are all eligible for your vote. It looks like Aaron Yeager and the Avengers might be crossing paths in the next couple of weeks. The Japanese magazine Brutus 790 revealed that the Avengers will be taking out a female tie-in in New York City during a what-if scenario. The crossover's length, format, and creative team have yet to be announced, but the crossover hits shelves in Japan this month. Earlier this week, Marvel released a teaser exclusively to comicbook.com offering the possible return of the fan-favorite 90s-era X-Men team. This opens a lot of doors for our imagination as the teaser has just been revealed to be a part of Marvel's upcoming Secret Wars Battleground mega event in summer 2015. <laughs> this past week's Beth-centric episode of The Walking Dead, titled Slab Town, scored a 7.9 rating in the 18-49 to 49 demographic, topping Sunday Night Football in ratings for the second time this year. Those ratings could feel a hit next year, though, as AMC has warned DirecTV subscribers that DirecTV has threatened to drop AMC from its lineup as the two are in an apparent negotiations battle with their contract's 2015 expiration approaching. Yes, that was five, but we're not done yet because Thursday, Disney dropped two bombshells announcing the title of Star Wars Episode Seven to be The Force Awakens, and we learned that Toy Story 4 will be coming to theaters in June of 2017. So now that you're all caught up, you can head out to the theaters and support the director of the Dark Knight trilogy as his space epic, and it is epic, I've seen it, Interstellar hits theaters, as well as Disney's Big Hero 6, which is based on Marvel characters. Will you be checking out either of these films? Are you excited about the newly released trailers? I know Furious 7 looks awesome. How about X-Men 92? Let us know in the comments section below or by commenting on our Facebook page or tweeting at us at comicbook.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Brandon Davis, and I'll see you next week.